Hello and welcome to the June 2021 Humble Choice Overview. This month I'll be giving away three of the 12 games. For a chance to win, just subscribe and comment which of the games you'd like. A new world. First up, the big title of the month is Civilization VI Platinum Edition. Civ VI was in a previous Humble Bundle back in February 2018, so this is the first game I'm giving away. Civ VI has sat on my unplayed queue along with Civ V and Civ III for a couple of years now, so it was nice to finally fire it up and see what all the fuss was about. Civilization is a turn-based strategy game where you compete against AI and human players to grow your civilization from a small town to a global superpower. The game looks great and thankfully the tutorial is really in-depth. This makes it much easier to get around the learning curve that comes with these kinds of games. Possess rich soil. It's worth the price of entry for this month, and as I have it going spare, just subscribe and comment on this video for a chance to win it for yourself. Next we have a very disturbing game. Secret Neighbor is a multiplayer horror game for six players. Five players control children exploring a house to discover their creepy neighbor's deepest and darkest secrets. A sixth player controls the secret neighbor disguised as a child. As the neighbour, your goal is to catch all the children before they uncover your secrets, but considering the fact that they dissolve when you catch them, it feels more like a child murder game for the person playing the neighbour. I was fortunate enough to be playing the neighbour on my first try. The hunter role seems to be the fun role in this game. I later discovered that the voices of the children that I heard while playing the game were the team chat voices of the players and not in-game sounds. So yeah, I, an adult, play the game where I murdered five children, playing children. Bit wrong. The game was fun, but I think my first time out of the gate playing against actual children has put me off. Secret Neighbor is my second game giveaway this month, as I already have it on Game Pass. So if you want to hide from a neighbor or chase children, subscribe and comment and have at it. Stubbs the Zombie plays surprisingly well for a 16 year old game that was originally released way back on the original Xbox console in 2005. You play a zombie running around a late 50s retro future style city, which is furnished with 50s stylized sci-fi robots, vehicles and buildings. Your goal is to eat brains, create and send zombie hordes after people and progress through the city of Punchbowl to find your long lost love. It's still fun after all these years and very much worth a play. I've played a lot of Worms games over the years and I'm pleasantly surprised that this game is different to the ones I've played in the past. Essentially this is Worms meets my friend Pedro. You get to run around a map picking up weapons and fighting an enemy team of Worms with a wonderful selection of weapons and explosives. I had a bit of a wait to get a multiplayer game going but once playing I didn't regret the wait. It's fast paced, explosive fun. Going Under is a cutesy dungeon crawler and hack and slash game where the player is an intern clearing out monsters from areas of the building. As you play, die and replay, you get to unlock more powers, abilities and increase your power, improving your chances of survival. Not bad and it has significant replay value. And now it's pixel art time with Panzer Paladin, which is a platformer where you play a character called Flame, who pilots a mech suit named Grit. You plow your way through levels, kill demons, and fight bosses. It plays well, the art and music is great, and there are 17 levels of carnage as Flame and Grit fight off an invasion of occult forces. One for the 8-bit retro platform and slash fans. Regular viewers of these videos will probably be aware by now that I'm not a fan of virtual novels. They're like someone decided that they really hate books and they want to punish anyone who likes them. Milky Way Prince is basically a yaoi love story. Besides the dialogue options and some basic picking of things in a room to inspect, there's no real game in here. It's better than some of the virtual novels Humble's offered, but it's still a choose your own adventure book made worse. Desolate is a first-person stealth game set in a world where supernatural entities and crazy people roam the land causing chaos. You have to creep through buildings and landscapes trying to evade anyone who may be after your blood. Guided in part by a guide over the radio, your goal is to research what's going on in the supernatural apocalypse and stay alive. It's great for the stealth fans, but if you're impatient like me, you can always break out the plank or crowbar, Mr. Freeman. Not because of damn 
map. Iconfell is another pixel art style RPG with turn and timing based fight mechanics and an abundance of cats. Cats are actually the save point and for this alone I'd recommend it. It looks good, the gameplay is not bad and it's worth a pick if you're on the 9 game subscription. I also have this game on Game Pass so if you like the look of it then drop a comment and subscribe and you could win this too. Poor Poor Boar is a simple side-scrolling beat-em-up which reminded me somewhat of Golden Axe or Double Dragon for the older people. To break up the boredom you can level up your character, but I found myself turning it off after a few levels. I'd probably play it more on the Switch in handheld mode, but for some reason the call of other games puts me off returning to it. Fans of 2D side-scrolling beat-em-ups will still enjoy this game. Effie commits the cardinal sin of having unskippable cutscenes or dialogue. Having to sit for several minutes before I can play the game reminds me of my beloved Soul Reaver 2 and its maddening intro scene. The game itself is a 3D action adventure game with beat em up, puzzle, platforming and surfing. It's pretty good though I haven't worked out what the point of collecting the runes on the levels are. Uh, there's no counter for how many you collect and I presume they relate in some way to your health or other bars. The game could do with a map for the surfing sections as I found myself somewhat clueless as to where I was going or where any objectives actually are in the game, but other than that it plays well. It compares itself to Ratchet and & Clank and Crash Bandicoot and those feel like fair comparisons. And finally we have Disjunction, a stealth action cyberpunk RPG in a pixel art style. I'm a sucker for pixel art games anyway so I had fun playing this, even though I'm usually too impatient for stealth games. And that's the 12. Civ's the obvious big game here, but my picks for the games I'll actually play are Stubbs, Going Under, and Desolate. If you're one of the 9 game subscribers, I'd recommend everything except Milky Way Prince, Worms, and Secret Neighbor. If you're on the 3 game sub, then Civ, Desolate, and any of the other games really except Milky Way Prince. As mentioned, the giveaways this month are for Civ 6, Secret Neighbor, and Iconfell, so subscribe and comment which of these games you're interested in, and I'll announce winners in just over a week or so, as usual. Thanks to everyone who's subscribed so far, liked the videos, entered competitions and commented. All the feedback has been greatly appreciated and take care, I'll see you in the next one.